Hey guys, Nate Nader here with a new series for Soft Slayer's YouTube channel where basically I'm going to be uh, just kind of helping you guys out with building. So this first episode is about the very, very basics. So if you guys know anything about building at all, you may as well just skip it unless you really want to hear me talk, in which case I'm, I'm honored. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. So basically, before we get started here, I just want to make a little note to you guys. Which one of these two houses looks better, do you think? I'll give you a few seconds. Go ahead and, and pause the video if you need to, or I'll just sit here quietly and wait for you to uh, decide. Okay, so if you said the one on the left looks better, then you're probably right, and I agree with you. So it's one thing I just want to mention is that if you're building a building, um, in Minecraft, the way, because it works, because you can't have, like, half blocks or anything like that, uh, what you want to do, basically, is probably a good idea to build in odd numbers. Notice this building is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deep. While this building is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wide by 8 deep. Now, if you build in even numbers in Minecraft, you're going to basically be forced to do a double door, unless you want to do something fancy like that. But honestly, that looks kind of odd. And just in general, even numbers are a little harder to build with. So if you can do it, then good job, do it. But if you can't, then I suggest you stick with uh, odd numbers. And also a note on that is that it's probably a good idea to make sure that your width and your depth, this being width and this being depth, are both even or both odd. Because if you mix that up, then the interior is going to just be kind of messed up. If you try to do a floor design, it's probably going to come out very weird. So, you know, the, the doors on one side would be one single doors, and the doors on the other side would be double doors, and it would just look kind of odd. And I see that happen a lot with more, uh, less experienced builders, and it's, it's honestly, it's nerve grating. Um, so, just to kind of clarify this here, this is not exactly the golden ratio, but it's kind of close. Um, this is basically a very good uh, ratio for this. You basically, you have three by five, and just kind of keeps going up uh, ad infinitum. So, which means to infinity, basically, and beyond in that direction, in general. So, basically, yeah, I mean, that's it's a good ratio. That's the one I normally use for my basics. So, the m basics, basically, are just that everything is made up of basic shapes. Most things in Minecraft, because of blocks, you know, are made square, like so. There are some round things, and it's a little harder to pull those off, but it can be done. But for the most part, everything is square, and you're just basically, all you're doing is combining different sized squares and shapes together. And so, in order to do something like mega builds or big builds, all you need to do is basically make a shape and add shapes to it. And it really is that simple. Um, it's not exactly easy, but it is simple. So that being said, let's keep on going here. Um, so... Let's destroy this house. Just kidding, I'll leave it here for whatever. But, um, yeah, so this house right here, this is the good house. Now, the only thing you might notice when you walk in here is you can't really, there's no headspace. I mean, seriously, what is with this? I hate I hate it when that happens. You're, you're stuck in here. This is not a house. This is a crawl space. You don't want that. So let's turn around, and voila, this house has jumping room, and now it feels more homey. Instantly, just by raising a layer, uh, you, you agree with me, I'm sure, it feels a little more homey. But here's the problem. On the outside, your house looks like the forehead of a balding man. It's just so large. So what do you do? You can take off the top layer, and now instantly your house is transformed from being a balding forehead to something that looks kind of compact and something like a hut. You still have the nice inside, and the outside doesn't look quite so crappy as well. But here's another thing. So that that's the basic shape idea, is that what basically what I've taught you here is the basics obviously of, of having a nice homey uh like going from a cramped house to uh to going to a homey house. And also I've already started you on the process of learning depth and detailing by just taking off this layer right here and making it look a little more refined. So to continue with detailing, let's go ahead and uh, let's 
add some windows. So let's go over to here, and now boom, we have windows. And that doesn't look too bad, but which one of these looks better, do you think? They're both not bad, but offsetting the door gives it a little more of a unique feeling. While in this one, you walk in, and you can look to the left, got two rows to your left, and two rows to your right. It feels a little cramped, while this one, even though it's the exact same size, automatically feels a little bigger, because on this one, as you saw, you walk in, and to your left is hidden space, to your right is hidden space, and you walk in, and now everything's behind you. While on this one, you walk in, and there's a wall to your left, but everything, you walk in, and you can see the entire room to your right, and so it makes it seem just that much better that bigger. So it's a little bit of an optical illusion just because of where you put the door. In the same way, if you put the door on this side, you'd walk into the left and it just all looks like it's all there and it makes it look bigger. So with that being said, let's just plant down a couple flowers and hey, voila, we have our first very basic house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the first one. It is the basics. Uh, just, yeah, join me next video where I'm going to start talking about roof design. This is Nate Nader signing off. Laters.